What's happening people? Lake Cash here, back with another video. Yeah, we caught up with uh, Dave Gilliat at BBC Music Introduced in Oxford to talk to him a little bit about our new single, Don't Think About It Too Much, and all things music. generic story really I guess we just both went we just had different tastes in music and I guess ways to path that we wanted to go down as such so we it was best for us both to part ways yeah I just wanted to go in dif different directions really um, no hard feelings or bad blood or anything like that between any of us so mm. we ended on good terms but but yeah just was it wasn't meant to be, I guess. Yeah, not a huge amount to it, really. Just one of the, like I said, a generic story, really. What direction did you want to go in? To be honest, the direction that we wanted to go in was where we've ended up now, essentially. Um, not necessarily two-piece, but I mean, the style was such. But I think Adam was a bit more into the metal side. Metal, I don't even know if that's a word, but metal side or whatever. So, in terms of writing and yeah, the direction we wanted to go in, it wasn't, it just wasn't really on the same level, level I guess. And that's yeah, and then this is where we are now. And I think like lockdown and COVID played a bit of a part in it as well. It just kind of made things difficult for everyone, and um, hmm. yeah. So I think that helped with the band, yeah, really, band yeah. Band broke up during lockdown. It was probably easier for, for, for solo artists and that sort of thing. A anyone expecting more of the same from you guys now that you're a two-piece will be seriously surprised. Obviously, the first thing is no guitar. Uh, so yeah. talk me through the thought processes, because this is going to be an upheaval and you, you might consider getting a new member or forming a different band. But ultimately, you faced up to what it really meant, which was that you would sound different. Mm. Yeah, we, were, we weren't we were entirely sure how we were going to necessarily do it to start with, but we kind we of... Didn't, we didn't want to go... We didn't really know anyone that kind of would have been able to fill the, the position. We didn't want to just kind of outright re replace Adam either, just because we've been friends for so long or whatever. So we kind of kept thinking, oh, we could just... We could do this as a two-piece affair, it could work, it's going to be difficult, but we reckon we can make it work, and if we can pull it off, it'll, it'll look quite good. It'll look quite good and well. be slightly different, we thought. Yeah. So... Did you look at other two pieces, and... Did you look at other two pieces, and, uh, you know, look at what worked for them, maybe, and maybe what you could maybe make work for you? Yeah, yeah, we did, we did a bit. We were actually, funnily enough, we're actually looking at some bands that aren't two pieces, but more get help ways in which we could pull off what we were trying to do, um, and and also trying to embrace new sounds and stuff like that, and trying to look for some inspiration. Like we like I said, we had an idea of what we wanted to do before, but actually pulling it off is a completely different <clears throat> matter. So we looked at we were looking at bands like. Um, Wargasm, I remember we were looking at Wargasm. Actually looking at bands like Fever333, if you've heard of them. Yeah. And think people like Bring Me The Horizon, not necessarily just... Because they those bands especially, they like to embrace electronics in their music. And anybody that might listen to them and stuff knows that they're quite heavy rock bands. So that was the sort of things we were looking at. I know that might sound slightly contradicting because we just said about not wanting to go on the heavier side, but it's more the fact that they use like the kind of electronics and they've got 
kind of big riffs and stuff and then they go into like an electronic section and the kind of switching yeah that's what we kind of liked and we thought oh yeah that, that sounds cool that's something we could yeah could do actually because those bands yeah those bands are a bit heavier than what we are but it was more what they were doing in the music as opposed to with the style as such if that makes sense but Tim, you are more of a frontman now, so did, did that come naturally, or did you have to key yourself up there? Um, I don't really know, like, it was, it's hard to say, because we haven't played a gig yet, so, I'm, I'm sure, like, when we, when we get, because we got a gig in the December in Reading, and I'm sure when we get there, it'll be quite nerve-wracking to start with, more because I think, the last gig we played, which was a long time, and that's a, that's something in itself, but we were not the way we are now, so it's going to be a lot different. I'm going to be at the front on my own. There's no one to look at other than if I turn around and look at Joe, but if I'm... You used I'm, to do a fair bit of backing. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah, used, you back. used to talk to the crowd a bit as well before. Yes, yeah, so it's... it's, it's, it's but yes. Yeah, it did, we did do a lot of backing vocals, but it's not the same, it isn't the same because you... And you're at the front on your own. Yeah, <laughs> well, yeah, it is the fact I'm at the front and obviously not... A band is a band, like you, you're, you're one unit, but people just tend to look at the front man. That's just how it is. So, yeah, it's hard to, it's hard to tell really because we, because we haven't played a gig. I don't really know how I'm going to feel <laughs> necessarily. I'm not... I want to do it, it's going to be fun, it's going to be really fun, but we'll see when we get there, I suppose. How will it work live? Will, will, will you still be on the bass? Uh, will there like, be backing tracks or will you be like, moving between instruments? Uh, it's essentially all of that. Like, I'll be on the bass and I'll have my synth bass at the front with me and I'll be kind of switching between them as and when as yeah. and when I do and then we're gonna have, we are going to have some backing tracks, but not we're not putting like guitar or instruments on the backing tracks. It is just more like sound effects, you know, your typical things. To, and a little, that would a little bit of kind of track. layering as well, so yeah. picking stuff up slightly. And then um, I've got one of those rolling pads as well, which I'm going to be be playing the electronic drums on. And um, I programmed some of the synths onto the pad as well. So yeah, we're kind of both playing drums and bass and yeah. the synth each, and both singing as well. So yeah, we're quite a lot to do on stage, but yeah, it's um. The, we kind of wanted to make a point of playing as much as we possibly can rather than chucking things on a backing track. I know there's some things that we physically can't play, but the majority of it we can. So we're gonna we we're, we're gonna be making a point of doing that because um, it, as well as it sounded hopefully sounding quite good, it would look quite cool on stage, and that was something that we wanted to do right from the start. But yeah. You've recorded an album's worth of music, so, so how does the songwriting and recording process work with, with the two of you? Um, to be honest with you, it was, we wrote pretty much the majority of these songs, if not all of them, over Zoom. Over Zoom? What? Um, sorry. Over lockdown is what I meant. <laughs> We're over Zoom. Yeah, I know, yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, so it was a case of, I just, we had some demos and I, Put some stuff down, sent it to Joe, or well, vice versa. back and forth. Pretty much, yeah. Until we could actually, we were allowed to get together, and then it was a bit easier. But there's a couple of songs actually. We um, the kind of between between lockdowns when you could kind of see people. We we did practice in a rehearsal room, um, so we managed to jam a couple of bits in there actually, and some of the songs came from that, which was a bit nicer than just sending logic files back and forth all the time. Yeah. But <laughs> seems, yeah. it seems it almost seems a bit fake in a way to send you know to be writing songs and then send them back and forth. Obviously, we didn't really have a choice because we w we wasn't allowed out. But but yeah, that was that was essentially where a lot of the how the songwriting kind of was happening at the time. But yeah. Do you ever find do you ever find you get in a bit of a pickle where you're wishing there was another member to carry the can with with some instrument or do you enjoy the problem solving aspect of this um i actually enjoy i do enjoy the problem solving like you say it's 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 definitely testing our musicianship i would say like I've, it's not it's not easy what we're doing um mainly just the switching and there's just a lot going on at the same time like when you're 
you're singing vocals and then you're playing bass or drums or whatever and then you then you're switching on top of that there's a lot to do at the same time so it's it's quite good because it's challenging us and effectively that would make us better musicians but I don't know, you, you, you do sometimes think it might it would be easier, but like at the same time, it is what it is. We chose to do what we're doing, so we're just, just going to enjoy it. it, yeah, embrace <laughs> it and enjoy it and just... Embrace the challenge. Yeah, and see what happens, really, see what we can come out with. Well, it'll be exciting to see what you do live, and, uh, you know, as a duo, you, you definitely look the part. I love the photo shoot of the two of you against a huge wall of magazines. magazines. Oh. <laughs> what, what, what was the idea behind that? I don't actually know. I think Joe just said to me he had loads of magazines and he thought it'd look cool. So we just we was we just went to a barn that we knew no one used and just stuck a load of them on the wall and on the floor and just took some photos essentially. Yeah, yeah pretty much. I don't remember. Yeah, I don't yeah. know if there was like a spe- specific. Yeah, there's no real reason kind of meaning behind it. it. Just kind of we thought it would look cool. <laughs> But then so obviously, your, were they your magazines, Joe? Because they look like the kind of magazine you know. It's all about you know my my my, my husband ran off with a with, with a wagon. <laughs> <That's all laughs> no, I think it's actually a mix of like my mum's and my nan's magazines, and they were they were just gonna throw them out. I <laughs> so I think I said, oh, I just have them all. I think I can do something with them. I can't um, remember it. I'm, I can't remember if I brought some of my mum's as well. I, can't I think remember. did actually. Only yeah. not as many. There wasn't as many, but I know once we figured out that was what we were gonna do. I know my mum has a lot of them. Stacked them up, so I thought oh, I'll use them for that. Yeah, they do look like mum magazines to be fair. Don't they they? look like mum magazines. <laughs> yeah. How long did it take? Yeah, how long does it take to cover a wall of a barn in a magazine coat? Oh, it's actually probably more like an hour, but maybe yeah, I don't remember. I really I think don't it's remember. a solid hour of non stop magazine. <laughs> yeah, because it was on you the wall. You don't have people to do that for you yet. No, 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 unfortunately. I actually no. kind of like, I do quite like doing it though, because it's, it's when you, you know, when you. F- when you set it up and then you take the photos and then you see the final product, when it's nice to think, oh, we did that ourselves. So. Well, let's have a taster of the new sound. Don't think about it too much. Is the new single, and there has been a good reaction to it. And I'm, you, I think you're probably nervous about making this one. So like, we weren't really sure what um, people were going to think about the new sound, obviously, because uh, they knew the old sound and stuff. So we were like, oh, are they going to like it? Are they going to? think it's worse or better or what so we yeah it's a bit of a as yeah as any i guess as anything it's subjective but i it yeah we wasn't sure if maybe it might need a bit of getting used to because it is quite different to what it is like it is it's you know big thick drum sound and just mass amounts of bass and some strings and that's it's actually more than that i made it sound kind of bad but I like that. I like, I like the beefy bass. Yeah, know, it's like a, yeah, it's just, you know, it, it's just a lot of. His bass is like a wall of sound, isn't it? Essentially, yeah. I think there's, I think there's eight, eight channels or eight something like that of them. So eight bases. You said that um, people prone to overthinking will relate to this song. Uh, I was wondering, I mean, what do you tend to overthink about yourselves? Um, everything. I'm quite bad at it, which is probably why why this song came out. I think, like I said at the time. Probably why it has eight bass channels. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, seven. Yeah, one was enough. So I went to two, and then that was enough, and then three, and etc. And then we just had to give up eventually. But um, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm quite bad. I'm quite bad at overthinking. I think at the time, similar to what we were saying now. I I know it probably doesn't matter, but. I, once we knew what we were doing and stuff, I know that I, in my head we had to top what we did before. So with that, and then combine that with just, I've never actually taken on or been a lyricist as much as I am now. So those two together were quite, it was quite a lot. It was almost daunting. So I think I was struggling to basically sit on something and then I ended up using that as a starting point for the song and then it ended up like this. I think we're both kind of perfectionists in a way as well so you kind of end up overthinking stuff like that as well like oh is it good enough? Yeah yeah I, yeah, I do it with pretty much everything so it's quite a relatable thing I'm sure a lot of people do it not necessarily with everything but if it's something you care a lot about and you want it so if you're a 
I don't know if you're an actor or you know, another musician, you, you care a lot about what you do. You like to do it to the best of your ability. So, but sometimes, often, you know, sometimes it can be a problem when you're overthinking to the point where you never finish anything. Well, I enjoyed the video to this one. They also enjoyed the behind the scenes video. <laughs> it looks like, you know, you had a crew when you needed them, but also the two of you pitched in with the filming and presumably artistically as well. Yeah, it was um, the majority of it we did had to film ourselves, and obviously us being in it was a, it made it even harder because we had to, especially the the shots when we're both, you know, the side shots from the appointment. Like Joe had to sit there with his phone between his legs and making yeah, sure it's lined constantly, up. Yeah, constantly like you put the camera on the tripod. You look, I look on my phone. I'm like, oh, needs adjusting a bit. Get back up, move the camera slightly. Look again. Oh yeah. no, it needs adjusting again. And, and stuff like that really yeah it um, took a while but it's, it's worth it in the end and obviously we there's that was only in Joe's you know Joe's flat or wherever the appointments there was other places yeah. at my house which if you couldn't tell where the BTS I'm in the middle of renovating it as well <laughs> yeah I could tell yeah yeah you, you got a bit of a way to go but it shows a lot of promise yeah it's fair since that video it's actually come it's come a long way actually, yeah there's a, there's an actual ceiling now yeah it's an actual ceiling now <laughs> you can't see the actual video but yeah we, we yeah we did that was another thing i like, to make it even longer you know we, we'd start filming stuff and then you know silly things would happen like the ceiling would be in it and well i say the ceiling there was no ceiling it was just insulation beams, yeah just or <laughs> insulation hanging down or something like that so the magic of the movies well, yeah, it is quite nice. That's why we like did the BTS. We like doing it anyway because it's, 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 you know, sometimes when you don't see, you often see what's you're dealing with or where you're having to set up the the shot. So, yeah. Also, yeah, also in the also in the behind the scenes, uh, it looks like you had a nice lunch. What, what, what did you uh, opt for? No, oh, it was chicken, oh, wasn't it? It was uh, chicken and something. I can't remember. Chicken, chicken rice and green beans, I think. Yeah, I, think, I, think I can't actually yeah, remember. Yeah, with, with a bit of peri peri sauce and some peri peri yeah, seasoning. I mean, on the... It sounds like you guys like your spicy chicken. Last time you came round, you guys. Uh, <laughs> we went to Nando's before. Yeah. Of Nando's. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We, yeah, we were, I remember. That's definitely a favourite. To be fair, it's a band favourite. That is. You had a pre-show Nando's. Yeah, we yeah. did. Yeah, I remember. So we we made a we did a BTS sort of thing. For the last time we weren't we? So, and I think we were at Nando's. <laughs> All right. Well, let's hear the song now, um, guys. I do. I think you sound better than ever. So uh, it's it's my pleasure to be able to premiere this now on BBC Introducing. Don't think about it too much. Uh, and Lady Kasia, thanks for coming back on the show. No worries. Thanks for having Thank, us. Yeah, thanks for having us. Appreciate the support. Cheers, everyone, for checking out this video. Hope you enjoyed the interview and it gave you a bit of an insight as to what's going on with the band at the moment. Yeah, make sure you drop a like, drop a comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss any more videos. And we'll see you in the next one. Yes, we will. Don't think about it too much.